All right, so um, while well, I wait for the satellites and I don't know why the Zugong flight summary screen comes up while it's doing this. I'd rather watch the screen. Maybe I need to turn this off or maybe put it on a switch. I'm not sure what's happening here. But let me talk a little bit about the craft. It's the Zugong version 2. I have the NASA light flight controller. Um, I have the E300 DJI ESEs and props using the newer edition of Phantom 3 uh, props. I have a um, easy UHF connected to a Futaba uh, T10 CAP. Um, I'm using uh, the Immersion RC 2.4 gig 700 milliwatt video transmitter. In this particular video, I'm using the IB Crazy left hand circular polarized air blade antennas. Um, the easy UHF is set in the low position on the power output I'm using channel 2396 the e, uh, I think it's the I don't know what band I think it's the international band on the uh, this is the module inside of the fat shark dominator SEs it's on uh, I think it's international channel 2 but um, that's just a little bit about the equipment um, I have the mini four channel immersion RC receiver with the single antenna. I don't have the dipole or anything updated. As you can see, I'm just hovering above myself at 114 feet, and my RSSI is already at 38 or 40. And what I've noticed is at 85, that's when it does a return to home. So, this is the uh, first time I'm using the, the goggles dominator module and uh, I'm telling you that there's a there's a little bit breakup in the video but it is not bad you know I tried uh, this is the first video of many but I tried with the the duck antennas and the air blades work a lot better so this is about six o'clock in the evening there's uh, no wind um, the camera I'm using is the GoPro uh, 3 Plus Silver Edition. Uh, actually, through the goggles, it's a little dark. Uh, I didn't mess with the contrast or anything yet. Um, so I kind of think I, at this point I start stopping and lower the uh, camera down maybe. But... Um, Let's talk about what's on the screen, okay. Right now I'm 1300 feet away, RSSI is already at 58. Uh, I'm not holding it up or anything. Uh, 16 miles an hour at 13 amps. So far I've used uh, 675 milliamps at an altitude of 245 feet. And video looks good so far. Okay, we're at 2,000 feet. Everything's still looking good. I'm traveling really slow just in case uh, something should go wrong. But this is the first time I've flown it in a while because I was having really bad breakups with the Uno 2400. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to test this against that receiver. And I've got a lot of testing to do. But we'll see how it goes. Okay, well now we're at 2,500 feet, RSSI at 65. Now in this neighborhood, I mean, you know, they got a lot of Wi-Fi, I'm at a low altitude, probably worst case scenario for interference, but that's why I want to test it out here in these harsh conditions. Then when I go out to the flying field, I should uh, get a better feel. But I try to stay over the roadways, and uh, this is a flight path. I've, I've flown a lot, so I'm interested. You know, I'm familiar with it. 
Now you can see like 85. I had to fix that every time I return to home. It shoots the camera straight down, so I need to change uh, my fail safes. Okay, at this point, I raised the transmitter up to get a better RSSI. So at this point, the craft's heading back. The Yeezy UHF antenna is in the back, and the antenna. The air blade is in the front. 236 feet altitude, so I'm at a low altitude. And that's what I'm trying to test. This is what it looks like low. And that bad, I think uh, when I set up the Zugong, I wasn't sure what the link was. And I think I deactivated the link. And at this point, I click it in the failsafe. And take it back out of failsafe because I said, okay, well, let me do a little more testing. I have a lot of battery left. I have that 5200 uh, multi star battery from Hobby King 10C 4S. So um, I said, well, let's, let's use it a little bit. And at this point, I'm turning. Now I notice that my altitude's getting low. Start going back up. RSSI looks great pointing at the side of the craft so 55 okay so at this point say it jumps up to 65 when I'm aiming straight back the circle with the arrow in it is aiming home really happy with the Zugong OSD and as for the milliamps used, it's very accurate. Very accurate when I recharge the battery. Okay, so now I'm just heading back home. So let me go ahead and stop the video. It's all boring just to land in here, but I just thought I'd document my... Uh, my testing procedure okay so this is the 2.4 gig video and easy UHF and testing on the Zugong for performance thanks for watching